Welcome back to DIY Willie. Today we we'll work again on the uh, 2012 Nissan Frontier, and uh, well, we have a box from Power Stop. Extreme. All right, let's get this stuff installed. Now I've got the uh, rear of the truck. I'm gonna do the rear brakes first, and I've got the rear of the truck up on jack stands already. Anytime you're gonna pick the rear of the vehicle up or the front of the vehicle up, always make sure you put the wheel chocks on the other wheels, either the front or the back, whichever one you're lifting up, do the opposite side. So uh, yeah, let's get busy, take these monster tires off of here and uh, get into the brakes. So after getting the wheel off, we go ahead and we remove the two bolts for the caliper. Those were a 14 millimeter. And get those two bolts out. I always just set them up here on top of the leaf spring. And it's always a good idea to uh, either hang the caliper off something or set it up where it's not going to fall and put stress on the brake line. I'm just going to set it up there for right now. It looks good. Now I'll take, since we are changing the rotors, they're kind of grooved pretty good. The pads aren't bad. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off this part of the caliper. Then we can remove the rotor and get ready to, for reassembly. And on the rear, you have your emergency brake, which is like a like a drum brake system with shoes on the inside of here. And uh, I'll show that here in a minute. We're not going to adjust the shoes or change the shoes yet because they work fine. We're just doing the disc brake side of it. Okay, so we got both pieces of the caliper off. I've got it, the other piece down there. And I've got the, the rotor here. I had to give her some persuasion because it's pretty rusty but it now is loose and will come off I'll set you down here and we'll get a look inside there we go here we can see the emergency brake side of it as I was telling you it's like uh, drum brakes and the you pull the cable and apply the pressure to the shoes against the rotor and uh, holds the truck in, in place so that's the emergency brake side of the disc brakes. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up because there's a lot of work here. I gotta take a wire brush, clean all this stuff up, get it ready for the new rotor, and then we'll prepare the caliper. Put the new rotor on. I've got the caliper part bracket. I've got this. I pulled these out, re-greased them, the pins, the slides. I installed the new cap or the new dust cover on this side. I had to use the old one on this one on that side because this one was torn so i use the old dust cover here i got the new dust cover here put in the new clips to hold the pads now we'll go ahead and put this back up here okay so we got the caliper bracket on we've greased and snapped the new pads in place now we're going to put a little bit of grease here on the outside and there on the inside we've already compress the piston back into the caliper and uh, we'll install it and the passenger side will be done it'll look pretty good all right there we go there's the rear passenger side done nice slotted and cross drilled vented rotor new power stop extreme pads hardware everything's tight torqued in with at least three ugga duggas that's a good strong ugga dugga too and uh yeah it looks good i'm gonna go on to the to the driver's side now oh also you'll have a hole in your new rotor you need to get your uh your plug from your old disc to put in there that hole is to adjust the emergency brake and it doesn't need to be open So take that plug from your old disc and put it in the new disc. Okay, so I've got the driver's side off, all cleaned up, wire brushed, ready to go. So I'm gonna clean up the rotor now, get it ready for installation, and uh, move on. Okay, so we got the new, the new dust covers, and we've already wire brushed the brake caliber bracket. We'll install the dust covers careful not to tear them. I tore the other ones pretty easy. Like that. There's a new dust cover. We'll get this one installed.
like that and then uh, we can install the bolts now there's a little rubber piece that goes on this bolt and I changed it and I put new grease when the caliper brackets mounted to the wheel like in this configuration the bottom one gets that little rubber piece push it in until the dust cover engages same with the other side just push it in until the dust cover engages and you're good wipe off excess grease we are sold that's done now we have uh, the springs that hold the, the pads in we're just going to install those but I'll install those after I have the new uh, or I have the, the bracket put back in place all right there we go got the uh, pads all greased up caliper cleaned up the piston pushed in put back together you guys will see me do that on another video I'll link to that, that video it's an EBC brake video I'll link to that to show you how I did all that but um yeah the calipers back on rotors on I've got some anti seize or never seize whatever you want to call it on the studs and around the center to help keep the disc from sticking to the to the axle I had a heck of a time getting the old disc off because it was just rusted all the way around here so hopefully that little bit of anti seize right there will help make a barrier between the two metals and not rust out so bad and i've got a little bit of anti-seize on the studs and i know some people say that messes with the torque specification but hey it'll work it'll help it'll help preserve the studs too and everything should be happy so yeah all right so we've got the front here we've got the wheel off we're taking a look at the rotor um pads are about 90 percent gone maybe a little bit more i don't know if you can see them but they're pretty worn on the inside uh, this truck is the Titan swap it's got the Titan lower control arms the rough country Titan upper control arms uh, this is the Chevy long ball joint to help with the travel it's got the CST 4 inch lift spindles the rad flow adjustable coilovers with reservoir yeah this truck is set up pretty nice we're gonna put some limiting straps on it also as you can see it's got coil bucket contact so my other truck i had to cut out the coil bucket notch it for clearance on the control arm but i he hasn't asked me to do it on this one yet but i'll go ahead and i'll put it like a quarter inch spacer underneath here and then i'll uh put the limiting strap on so it won't come up it won't come to the coil bucket anymore all right it won't cause coil bucket contact anymore so anyway back to what we're doing today is the brakes and uh, let me get this caliper off and uh get it all taken apart and we'll do just what we did on the back all right there's the driver's side all done you see the difference in the meat of the pad calipers all reassembled bolted on torqued to at least three ugga duggas like we discussed before on the back ones i've got some anti seize around this to help it from sticking next time even on the bolts around the studs a little bit of anti seize it looks good now the passenger side we've got the bracket all rebuilt and ready to install this is all cleaned up anti seize put on and ready for reassembly so we got the brakes done trucks back on the ground tires are torqued everything's done and uh they look really good in there you can see them nice and clean inside another fine DIY Willy project so if you like the install of these brakes give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and always come back DIY Willy for your frontier needs and uh maybe the mini bikes too all right see you next time